Morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements in my practice where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place as you listen to The Bright Side every day. You are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds. Recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your phone calls on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear recommended on the program, 866-735-2470 is the phone number for the bright side Ben team. Bright side Ben phone team. You can order products directly from the phone from the phone team or you can go to the website brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com you can buy products off the website you can also sign up to join the brightside ben team right off the website as well for a one time one time $25 fee you can start a longevity business and help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program and of course you can always just get your products at the wholesale price you can call the Brightside Ben phone team too, 866-735-2470. They can tell you all about it. And if you want to purchase any of our truth treatment products, including our retinol 5% gel made with 5% retinol, you're, gonna, you're not going to find that anywhere, folks. 5% retinol, non-irritating, preservative-free, no waxes, no fillers, lots of vitamin C. You can find out all about it at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, we are talking about the adrenal glands and the relationship to high blood pressure. We left off talking about salt and blood pressure and the hormone aldosterone, little known hormone. You don't hear that. You don't hear that one thrown around too much on health shows, aldosterone. You hear about cortisol and we hear about adrenaline. We hear about other adrenal hormones. Certainly we hear about the sex hormones, the, the reproductive hormones, progesterone, estrogen, testosterone, but you hardly ever hear about this stuff aldosterone, which is too bad because there's a very, very important link between aldosterone and elevated blood pressure, hypertension. When we're under stress, aldosterone is secreted from the adrenal glands and the, in the net result is an increase in blood pressure. Aldosterone is a major stress hormone. Aldosterone is a major hypertension hormone. If you don't know about aldosterone and you have hypertension, listen up. It's really important stuff, and understanding how to work with this hormone is a key to understanding how to lower your blood pressure. Stress leads to hyperadrenal activity, leads to aldosterone secretion, leads to more salt in the blood, leads to more water in the blood. Salt always pulls water with it, and this is how the body raises the blood pressure. Salt is released into the blood via the hormone. The blood volume, the blood becomes more watery, and the volume expands, and that increases the pressure. Doctors will tell you that aldosterone is elevated in some people for unknown reasons. It's just elevated. Nobody, for some reason, they haven't made the connection that there might be some kind of stressor in the system. Aldosterone just goes up. This is what doctor, this is what the medical model will tell you. Aldosterone secretion is just elevated. It's called primary aldosteronism, PA. What does that mean, primary aldosteronism? It means, primary means there's no cause. Primary means it's the first reason. It's not secondary to anything. It's the, it just happens. How can, you, how can a medical person think this? It's primary. Another word they use is essential. They call it essential hypertension. Primary aldosteronism. That means there's no preceding cause. Primary means no cause. It's not secondary to anything. It's causeless. It just happens. And it's a great mystery. 
this is unbelievable. The medical model will tell you that stress hormone goes up for no known reason. I'm not kidding you. They're searching for the cause of this excessive secretion of aldosterone, stress hormone. It hasn't dawned on our brilliant medical scientists that maybe elevated stress hormone is related to elevated stress. Sugar, toxicity, foods, respiration, low, low levels of oxygen, psychological, mental stressors. They're searching all over what could be the cause of this elevated stress hormone. I'm not kidding you. The latest culprit for elevated stress, uh, elevated aldosterone, elevated stress hormone, is the most popular whipping boy, at least modern 21st century most popular whipping boy for poor health, our genetics. Genes, according to an article published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Science, Sciences, this was um, a month ago, August, August 15th, 2015. Exactly, this is, I'm not kidding you guys, exactly why aldosterone levels go crazy has been a bit of a mystery. But according to University of Michigan researchers, the mystery may now be solved. It's genetics. It's our crazy DNA that just mutates for some reason because it's just our goofy, stupid, mentally retarded cells and genes that spontaneously mutate. That's my words. They didn't say that. According to this article, this is, this is really where it gets juicy. According to this article, we all have these mutations. We're all messed up. And what's more, according to Dr. William Rainey, professor of internal medicine and the author of the study, quote, our, our findings suggest that most of us have the origins of PA in our adrenals in the form of cell level mutations that cause dysregulation and hormone production, but they're not severe enough to lead to disease, i.e. hypertension, unquote. So we're all, this is what he's saying. We're all messed up genetically. It's just that it happens to show up as disease in some of us. This is one of the dumbest things I've ever heard a medical person say. Who cares about mutated genes? It's why the gene mutates that matters. If we believe that our genes mutate for no known reason, and this is the medical model, this is what the medical model will tell you, our genes just mutate. That's why people have their breasts hacked off because they've got a mutated gene that just happens to be mutated. If we believe that our genes mutate for no reason, now we've lost our power to address our own health conditions and we're stuck with being medicalized. And this is sneaky, dirty pool. This is what's so offensive and egregious and, in my opinion, anti-human being. If we believe that our genes don't have any reason for mutating, they just change. They just spontaneously change for no known reason. Now we're stuck with the medical model. What this doctor, Dr. William Rainey, and what the medical model doesn't understand is genes don't mutate accidentally. They are exquisitely responsive to their environment. They change in response to what the cell is sitting in, what the environment of the cell is wallowing in. A lack of oxygen will cause a genetic change. Toxicity will cause a genetic change. Sugar will cause a genetic change. A lack of the mighty 90 nutrients will cause a genetic change. Now, who controls these factors? We do. This is why it's so important not to pay attention to this genetic model of illness. Now, if you're born or if a baby's born with some kind of genetic disease, some kind of genetic problem, cystic fibrosis, some kind of uh, uh, storage disease, glycogen storage disease, they call them, whatever, that's because as the fetus was being formed, the genetics, the genes didn't have the nutrients they need to form correctly. In this way, there are no genetic diseases. The genetic diseases, or what we call genetic diseases, are really responses of the genes to some kind of environmental problem. And by environment, I'm talking about what the gene is sitting in, or what the cell is sitting in. Why is this important? Because we have control over our biochemical environment, largely. Through foods, through nutrition, and through oxygen, and through relaxing the stress response. This is such good news, you guys. All right. We'll continue and come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. Turn on the news. Okay, 
Morning. We are back on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, the longevity products, skin care, formulations, ingredients, something you may have heard about or read about in the news, something somebody may have told you, let us help you. 844-236-6010 is our number today and every day on the bright side. And if you want to purchase any of the Longevity products, please call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470 or head over to my blog, pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. We update both regularly with news stories as well as blog posts, and you can purchase products or sign up to join the Longevity team right off the website. You can also go to brightsideben.com. That's brightsideben.com. All right, we'll get your calls here momentarily, so hang tight. If you're on hold, a couple more things I want to say about... Uh, well, a lot I want to say about aldosterone. Tomorrow we'll tell you how you can lower your aldosterone on your own. Of course, re reducing stress, that's a key factor. Aldosterone is a stress hormone. Doctors are mystified. I mean, it's funny, but it's not really that. It's not ha-ha funny. It's sad funny. Doctors are just mystified. Why would aldosterone, why would stress levels go up? Well, let me clarify it for your doctor. Stress hormone goes up when we're under stress. Lack of oxygen, lack of nutrition, the mighty 90 essential nutrients, elevated toxicity, and that includes sugar. These all represent an emergency to the body. They represent a survival threat in the body, and the genes respond accordingly. Hormones don't just go up for no reason. Stress hormones just don't wildly elevate on their own. Genes don't just mutate on their own. Psychological stress, mental stress, emotional stress, the genes respond accordingly. Physical stress, the genes respond accordingly. The genes aren't mutated. That's an ugly word. Mutated means they're contorted, they're perverted. They've just twisted. They just got ugly all of a sudden. They're not mutated. They've just changed to handle the stress. The problem isn't the genes causing the elevations in the stress hormone. It's the survival threat. The survival threat is the primary cause. It's not primary aldosteronism, it's primary stress. Why is this so hard for our medical people to understand? And again, stress is, stress is physical, stress is emotional, stress is psychological, stress is spiritual, stress is multidimensional. And it's really, as we've said, and I don't wanna, I don't wanna confuse the issue, it's really the response to stress. It's not the stress itself, it's how we respond to the stress that's the problem. The genes haven't mutated, they've just changed. They've just responded. Now if you skip that step, if you skip the stress step, that's our control point via our lifestyle, and you go right to the gene, now we're stuck with drugs. Now we, we have no option because the gene is just crazy. Now we don't have any control, it just changed. Now we got nothing to do with it. We're not responsible, of course. We don't have to blame ourselves because our genes are just stupid. Our genes are just dumb. They just changed on their own. Now we're stuck with the medical model. Now you're stuck with genetic therapy. That's the latest. It's gonna be genetic, genetic therapy. And who, uh, why genetic therapy? Who controls genetic therapy? Your doctor, the drug companies. Again, taking the power away from us and putting it in some authority medical model, higher power that's not God. Not only is this idea of blaming genes nonsense, but it's actually dangerous. And for the medical model, it's self-serving. We're all potentially sick, according to the medical model. We're all diseases waiting to happen, which means we're all patients in waiting. We're all potential customers because we're all mutated and we're all sick. This aldosterone mechanism, by the way, is how your ACE inhibitor drugs work. Losartan, Cozar, Prinavil. This is how they this is how they exert their antihypertensive effects. Aldosterone secretion is triggered by something called ACE, A-C-E, and ACE inhibitor drugs inhibit ACE, as the name is as implied in the name. An ACE inhibitor drug inhibits ACE that shuts down aldosterone. This is how the medical model works. Never mind that aldosterone has been uh, evolved to take care of our stress, to raise blood pressure in an emergency, Shutting down ACE, ACE inhibiting, no aldosterone, no salt in the blood, lower blood pressure. The problem is for ACE to be inhibited, it has to be poisoned. This is how drugs work. Drugs don't magically just work. They poison the system. And this is true. Anytime you hear the word inhibitor or blocker or anti in a, the classification of a drug, ACE inhibitors, beta blockers, calcium channel blockers,